Beast Boy 56 here. Um, sorry about not doing a video last weekend, or last, yeah. Um, I was filled up with homework and crap, so I wasn't able to do it. But, um, if you watch, Reese, um, uh, not Reese, do it. Um, Fearless Front, he did a pulley pull start on his tractor, and I always wanted to do one on the Murray. But the setup is completely different for the opposed twins. I looked on uh, off-road tractor forms, I believe. I'm probably incorrect. Um, I'll probably make an account. I haven't yet. But someone, what they did is they used these holes for the mounting to mount a pulley up. And I'm going to show you how. So, here's my pulley that I'm using. I effed up on cutting out the notch, so I just left the pieces there. It's going to sit like that. It might sit a little higher. I'm not sure about the air getting in. I might drill a couple holes in it. I'm leaving the fins in. The other guy, he took out the fins and put all his own fan system on top. But you notice there are four bolts. And if you worked with the Pose Twins, there are only two bolts that go into the flywheel. But there are four holes. So what you got to do, first of all, you have to thread those holes. If you're if the uh, size to thread them, if you can see that, 5 16 18 and C. 18 is the thread size. And I went better than I expected it to. I didn't even have to use the longer part of the handle. I just had to do this. So you're going to need a pull start rope. Um, you'll have to cut two other holes. I kind of effed up. But it'll, it should work. Two other holes on um, on this bracket piece, and you also need to put cut or drill four holes into your pulley. Now the uh, pulley also needs to be big enough to where you can get some torque, but don't be too big. I think I just spilled sand in my coffee. It's okay. <laughs> um. If it's too big, you may have to do a different setup for your fins and for air because you definitely want enough air to get into the engine. So, I'm going to see how this goes. I have another pulley. It's about this big. But, we'll see. But, I'm going to show you how to do it. I got bolts that were just a little bit too big or too tall, but that's fine. These are 3.5 inch, 5 sixteenths by 18 bolts. You're going to need four of these and three nuts per bolt. Now, um, I haven't done this, so I'm not sure how well it's going to do. My, my dad came up with this idea. But what you're going to do is you're going to take your pulley and you put the bolt in, just as I am now. Then you put another nut on how, however high you want this to be. Okay, let's say you want this high, so you put an, a, a, bolt, a nut there. Then you put in a nut, another nut underneath that, and that will be what locks and keeps this from going any further into the um, flywheel. And so what's going to happen is, is that once all four are put in, you tighten down this nut until it crushes it down to the other nut, and then that levels it. You'll probably have some sticking up, like about that much. I don't know how much I, ha I will have. I might even raise it up past that just to um just to give it more air but i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try it that way and see how it goes so here it is after i have put it on it was a little bit difficult because some of the bolts kept turning but i was able to get under there with my fingers tighten them down and then tighten these ones down um i have them all the way to the top because that's going to give me the most air I just was smoothing this out with the Dremel, and I just found something I missed. Um, my rope, I have enough for about one and a half rotations of the pulley. I didn't want too much, or else it could yank it out of my hand. Um, it depends on your pulley. If you have a smaller pulley, you'll need a little. You might be able to go with less. If you have a bigger pulley, you'll need to go with more. The bigger pulley gives you a little more torque than a small pulley, but a small pulley gives you more speed. 
So with a big pulley like mine, I have to yank it very fast. Um, I haven't started it up. It's out of gas, so um, it would be a couple pulls to get it to go. But just to show you, that's pretty much what it has to do. Um, I do need to clean this up a little bit more with the Dremel. And um, then I need to hook up a parking brake. Because if you remember, I used my parking brake for my e-brake. So I need a park parking thing for this. So it won't take off or it will be easier to pull. I have to clean up with the gel. It's a little bit, it's a little bit smoother now. Um, so next thing to do is to hook up a parking brake for it and tighten this down because it's actually realized that I just realized that it's a little, a little bit loose. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna turn the whole bolt. I just want the one nut. Stupid wrench. There we are. Better. All right. I'm gonna figure out a way to do this brake hookup or this parking brake and see how it goes. Alright. I have a parking brake assembly. I will show you that in a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if I can fire it up by um, I put a little gas in the car so I'm just going to see if I can get it to fire with the rope start because my battery is also dead. So. I can try to fix that a little bit. I think I see it. Oh, where'd my wrench go? Ah, oh, you can see my hand. <sighs> Something new and awesome. <laughs> this and that. This and that one. That's up there. That's even. What? video. All right. As you can see, I can pretty easily get under there and reach the bolts or the nuts, tighten it up and adjust it.
All right, I'm gonna try it again. See if there's less wobble in the in the plate. I forgot I put gas in it. That's why I kept running and didn't just fire up and keep going. I don't know if you could see it, but there was some wobble in it, and what I did to it really didn't affect it, but that's okay. There's no vibration or noise, extra excess noise being made, so it works. Uh, let me show you my parking brake setup. Extremely simple. And it's, it's tight enough so it stays there. I actually should tighten it up a little bit, one moment. I just hand tighten it, and then I'm gonna park it, and it parks. And that's just a scrap piece of metal from a snapper. That was from a snapper. A lot of shit was from a snapper that's on here now. So, I might take it for a drive if I can move this wood out of the way. Alright, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, any tips, maybe, to make it better? I'm happy with it already, but that'll really help me. Actually, I have to um, make a make a little storage thing for this. But um, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Uh, before this video ends off, I have a quick tip. If you may notice, I have a different rope. Um, after about 10 to 20 uses of the pull start, the rope broke. So what I suggest doing is get a washer that is not much bigger than the rope size so it doesn't slip through the knot. Do a double knot because I had this knot undo itself on me and I had to find a new washer. Instead of just the washer, also put a thin piece of fuel line on there. And that rubber protects the rope against the sharp edges of the pulley. Sits in like this somewhat. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm not. Sits in like that. And so you pull it and it keeps it all protected from the actual um, pulley from being cut. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, again, I'm sorry I didn't haven't done it in like two or three weeks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thanks for watching.